consistent and set daily routines. This helps them because it allows them to know what's happening and what's coming up next, which can ease anxiety and uncertainty that they sometimes feel about their day. Offer them an alternative location for them to cool down and pump the brakes a bit. All right, I think you need to just take a little break. It has been scientifically proven that when we connect with a child at their worst, we open up the ability for their downstairs and upstairs brain to communicate properly. The downstairs brain is where their emotions and impulses come from, but the upstairs brain is where the control of those emotions and impulses come from. And that part of their brain is underdeveloped until they're in their mid-20s. So when our children are spinning out of control, it's because they're literally out of control and they need our help. Is your baby biting, scratching, pulling hair, throwing their toys all over the place? I get it because it's totally normal development for a one-year-old, but how do you deal with it? So say your child is hitting, first get down to their eye level, acknowledge the emotion, say something like, I can see you're upset, but I am not going to let you hit. So hey toddler parents, do you ever feel like tantrums are triggering for you? Instead of thinking of when will this tantrum end, consider asking yourself, how can we work through this? How can I help you? I can really see that this is hard for you right now. You can totally feel this way, but I need you to use a softer voice. Instead of teaching our toddlers that emotions are triggering, how can we better help them understand their emotions?